your local two weather authority forecast. Well, good morning. Meteorologist Chase Menendez here. Pretty cloudy situation right now here for West Texas, but we're already starting to see some of those clouds begin to break up already this morning. It's going to be pretty sunny. We'll see a couple of those clouds linger on for this afternoon, but really you can see how fast they're moving because we've got a lot of winds in the area going to be sticking around for today. Right now we've got a high wind warning for Culberson and Eddy counties. That's going to expire at 5 p.m. tonight. Winds gusting up to 65 miles per hour, so it's going to be very breezy. Also that dry air that we saw last week hanging around, you can see outlined in this pink is a fire weather warning that's going to go into effect tomorrow. So we're not seeing that today, but we do have that fire weather watch again beginning tomorrow as well. And that's going to be for all of our counties here in West Texas. That's going to expire tomorrow night at 7 p.m., but again, not taking effect until tomorrow. The conditions that are leading to that are beginning to set up today, namely those high winds and those dry air sticking around for today. So wind speeds right now actually pretty moderate. 14 miles an hour here in Odessa Midland. I'm, I'm sorry, Guadalupe passed 7 miles an hour here in Odessa Midland, but by the the afternoon hours, we're going to see those jump up into the 20s, the teens, 24 out there for Guadalupe Pass, 19 here for Odessa Midland, and they're actually going to increase on through the evening hours until the sun goes down. We're going to see them pretty much jump up, but after the sun does go down by 8 p.m., about six miles an hour is what we'll see there, and notice the direction of the winds coming from the north. That means it's going to allow us to cool off a little bit coming up in the next couple of days, but for now, it's just going to be very dry, very breezy. These relative humidity numbers showing very dry air, 72% here in Odessa. Midland, that's actually a little bit on the high side. Anything around 50% is pretty dry, but Odessa Midland in the 70s, meaning we got a little bit of moisture here, but we're going to see those drop off into the teens by 5 p.m., 13% here for Carlsbad. Again, very dry conditions. We're going to see those hang around for today and definitely into tomorrow. It's going to get even drier, even windier, but temperature is actually going to be on the rise a little bit for the next couple of days. Eight uh, degrees warmer in Marfa over this time yesterday. We're up about two degrees here in Odessa Midland, but putting most of us in the 40s for the this morning. 34 here in Marfa, but 47 for Odessa Midland, 47 for Big Spring as well. And we're going to see those jump up near 80 today. Not quite uh, close to any records, but we are going to see those conditions hang around. Now, it's very clear right now. It's going to be very clear for the uh, rest of the day, but we do have that cold front approaching. And it's a weak cold front. It's not going to bring us any rain. You can see a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow behind it. But as it tracks off to the west, uh, to the east, I mean, it's actually going to dry out. It's got a little bit of windy activity ahead of it, and that's going to influence our forecast. It's definitely going to aid in that fire weather warning that we're going to see starting tomorrow. But as far as temperatures go, well, 78 today, 80 tomorrow, and those clouds are going to begin to roll in ahead of that cold front, but going to drop us off into the low 60s for the, for the couple of days there ending the week. And then after that, we'll rise right back up into the 70s so for the weekend. Some pretty nice weather. Yeah, it's pretty good. We got that dip and that uh, rise right back up for the, the yo -yo. weekend. That yo-yo. <laughs> I like that. Exactly. Well, like